and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Hello, it is Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be swatching my Model Wands gel polishes. I got these in, I just recently hauled these in a Amazon haul. So, I'm going to go ahead and get to swatching. I wonder if these have, oh, they have numbers. Okay. Let me go ahead and take everything out. So that is that collection. I'm going to go ahead and create swatches for both of these collections. That way I already know what number. So it is 12 colors in total. Everything labeled. Uh, this kit here does come with a base and a top coat so I'm going to go in with the base coat and base all of the swash sticks and then I'll be back when it is time to swatch some colors so the consistency of model ones base coat is pretty Standard. It's not too thick. It's not too runny. So five by two, and it does have a little peekaboo, so you have an idea of what the colors look like. Next we have eight, nine, six, and that is a nice orangey yellow feel to it. Definitely going to require two coats. This one here is zero three four seven, and I end up putting a sticker upside down. But I'm not doing another one. <laughs> so, uh, um, oh, this got a nice glitter in it. Well, it comes off as a black brownish. So depending on the lighting you in, you can probably see the brown. This one here is 321, which is another nice burnt. Oh, this is yellow, yellow. Nice yellow color.
Oops. And then the last one from this set is zero nine three eight, which is going to be nice yellow brown orangey kind of situation going on like if you mix yellow and orange together you get this color because i see a little orange little yellow tone to it so uh, that is nice and again these are going to require two coats so i'm going to go in with the second coat because i believe they're just a little opaque so that second coat will definitely oh uh, not opaque but a little transparent so this second coat will definitely give it that opaque look that we want definitely so these going to require two coats but again not an issue seeing that i even put two i regularly put two coats on anyway is this it no where's this color duh just look at the top give a even coat I definitely think two coats is perfect now on this glitter one that might be a different story two might not be enough but I'm only gonna put two I think this will go great on top of a color as well like if it had a base color underneath but just by itself you're still going to get some transparency with just two coats but i don't mind i don't mind i definitely love this color this is probably my favorite one out of the set i'm gonna go do the other two off camera and i'll be back to show you what the finishing looks like so this is what the 522 looks like after two coats and top coat and it is definitely giving that same color as the sticker so i do like that that way i have an idea of what the color looks like just by looking in the draw i love this sit let me put it this way glitter again it is again a little translucent but I still love the way that color looks and again I'm not sure if it's picking up more black but it's definitely a dark dark brown so I hope the camera is giving off that brown not so much the black so definitely color resemblance so those are all the colors that were in the first set put it by it so they just not taking up the place so i've already put base coat on these so i'm going in with the solid colors first because it has three solid colors and three cat eye colors when i tell you this 
polish is ooh, to the top. Well, this is not the exact color I was thinking that it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of a red red because of the bottom. But this coming off as more of a maroon color. It's not giving red red, but that's just the first coat. We'll see after the sick. <laughs> And so that was racing red. This one is raspberry. I expect that color to be this. <laughs> I was expecting more. But they don't look to be that far off when it comes to shades they don't look to be that far off shade wise and then the last solid color is new maroon should have did black i don't think you're going to see the effects of the cat eye on a clear swatch stick so let me go ahead and get my blacks for this one i don't think it's gonna get the same i don't think it's gonna hit the same on clear as it's gonna hit on black so Let's see what this color looks like on a black swatch stick. And so I don't really want to. So I'm just going to put some primer on here. So I can add some stick to it. I'll let that dry a little bit. So we get the nice little sticky. And then. So that's what I do sometimes. If I don't feel like putting base coat on all of them, just go in with some primer and put it on there. But this is definitely giving so much better on this black than it did on that clear. Now I don't really see much of a lavender effect on this. But let's see. Definitely, I see the effects of the cat eye. can't make no promises. I be having so much fun with the cat eye effect. It be so much fun. Okay, but it's definitely looking better than on the clear. On the clear, you can't barely, you can barely see. So these will definitely require a black background surface so go ahead and move those to the side and let me put some primer on both of these and this is actually my model one primer because before I started using your nail primer or protein bond 
Model Bones was the only dehydrator and primer that I used, and it worked well. Right, so this one is Satin Kimis. I don't know. MJ1486. That's what we're going to go with. <laughs> This is, ooh, giving nude cat eye. I have a Madame Glam color that looks similar to this, but it's just the color with a little shimmer. It's not cat eye. So the fact that this is a nude cat eye makes me love this color even better. I don't really be doing much with the with the Super cute. Well, I might have to put that one. I might have to wear that one. That one is cute. Oh, I hit it. I'm like, don't need it. I don't need a little bit. Just smooth that out. But I messed up the cat out of that. Because you want to mess up. All right, let's do it again. Cute. <laughs> oh, yes. Because I see a hint of that pink. Super cute. I absolutely love those colors. All right, so I'm going to put the second coat on the solid colors, racing red. how well that second coat looks it gives it the nice fullness that it needs so two coats yes and then raspberry that is still not the red I was expecting, but it's actually more of a pink than a red. This one is a nice shade of a pink as well. And then all of my lights work, it's just right. And this one is New Maroon. I love the fullness of this bottle. If you ain't careful putting this brush back in that bottle, they, this color is going to overflow.
I love the fall. Gotta be real slow. Putting that back in. So I am going to go ahead and I'm not sure if I'm going to do two coats of the yeah. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the same design. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if the same design I'm going to get. But this one is not giving lavender to me. I just see silver. That's all I see. Day now, maybe you do, but I don't. Oh, uh, and then this one is the I don't really think. I think if you put this on a black background, you don't really need two coats because that's given the design that I like. Now, the million dollar question is, I'm like, where did I just put my base and top coat? And I love how that you can tell the difference between a base and a top just by that color. The top is gold. I'm going to go ahead and top coat these. Because I love the way this one coat looks on that black. It is giving. It is giving. So here you have racing red. Definitely see the red. At first, that one coat, I thought it was like a pink. But it's definitely two coats. Give me that red. Here you have raspberry. You can definitely tell the difference in the shade. definitely close resemblance but it's there and then new maroon Ooh, dusty <laughs> and you have three cat eye which is sparkling fuchsia See the hint of pink in there. And this one is, I can't pronounce the name, but I think it's satin. Kamish. Kamaz. Samaz. Go with Samaz. And then this one is, I mean, the letters on this is small. Sterling Lavender. So those are the six colors that came in this kit. And I unboxed this in my previous video. So I will have those in the cards. That way you can see everything that came in this kit. Because this one here was actually a kit that came with a lot more stuff. I will have it linked down in the description box as well. Let's see, I love the little case it came in. We'll have this linked in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out if it is still available on Amazon because that is where I purchased both of these kits from. So definitely go ahead and check that description box for links and discount codes. If you've made it this far in the video, I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. If you are new here and you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. To my returning subscribers, thank you so, so much for your continued support. And until the next time, I see you in the next one. Bye-bye. What a wonderful world.